Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Yakuza 0. In the last episode, we started our adventure, had fun times with Nishiki, and found out that we need to go to the Dojima family headquarters because there is a possibility that we may have killed someone that we tried to get money from. And that's no good. So, let's not keep them waiting. Also, because we can't actually go anywhere. And take the, and take the taxi. Man, this place is very different when it's daytime. Sorry, sir. Need to go to the taxi, which is right here. For some reason, I thought we needed to go to the payphone. That is not a taxi. This is a taxi. Let's go. The taxi fare starts at 470 yen. I need to go to Dojima Family HQ. Let's do it. Don't worry, Kiryu. We'll be fine. ずいぶん カムロ町で見つかった死体の件ですが。やっぱり<笑> あの社長に頼まれて肩着ぶっ殺したのはおめえだろ。もっとも、あいつは自分のせいじゃねえって、早速逃げ打ってやがったかな。たかが<笑> 肩着をやっちまったっつうことはどう幕を引くかだがちょっと待ってください。俺は。自分で出すにやれ。安心しろ。肩切ったって相手も借金まみれの それ
聞かれたことだけに答えた。なんであの場所を選んだ。カジラの指示じゃねえのか。え？それにチャカはどこで手に入れた？それもカジラから渡されたのか。チャカ。一体何の話をしてるんですか。俺は銃なんか持ってません。この後に及んで白を切り積もるってか。見つかった死体は痛みつけられた後、とどめに頭を打たれていた。サツはまだ公表してないかな。本当ですか。その話。死体転がしたのは俺じゃありません。俺はすでで奴を殴っただけです。本当です。もしその話が本当だとしたら、お前は誰かにはめられたってことになる。そうだな。はい。間違っても俺は銃を撃ったりはしていません。と言ってるが、どうしますか。嘘に決まってんだろ。タグはラギしやがって。てめえみたいな下っ端はめて誰が得するってんだ。ああキリー、もう一度聞くぞ。なんでわざわざあの場所で騒ぎを起こしたんだ。金貸しからの指示だったんです。あの場所に相手を呼び出すから、少し痛い目に合わせてから金を取り立ててくれって。今言ったこと間違いねえな。どうやら金貸しから話聞く必要がありそうだな。とはいえ、うちの組があの殺しに関係していたっつのは事実だ。しかも場所は場所だ。このままじゃあっちの仕事に支障が出ちまう。どうするよ、クゼナリギ。答えは一つだ。何がなんだかわかんねえって面だな。え、例の死体が見つかったあの場所はな、あそこは通称からの一つぼって厄介な土地なんだよ。お前ら下っ端知らねえかもしれねえけどな、道島組長から俺ら頭子さんの三人に命令が出てたんだ。どんな手使っても。その空の一つを手に入れろとな。空の一つを。針の穴ほどの隙間もない繁華街に偶然できた一つの空き地だ。それを親父が欲しがってる。親が欲しがるものを差し出す。それが子分の義務ってわけだ。だがその場所で肩着の死体が見つかった。あの土地が世間の目を引いちゃ、地上げしようにも手出しが難しくなっちまう。本当困った話さ。ああ。それがおやさんとどんな関係が？<笑>あの一つぼにはな、別の意味もあってな。道島の親父に差し出したやつにはとっておきの褒美が用意されてる。褒美？おお、不在の風間の頭の後、道島組、次期若頭のポストだ。つまりあの土地は俺ら頭を抑えとってただの一つぼじゃねえってことだ。まあ最初はてっきり
風間の頭とつながってるお前が俺らの邪魔するためにやったのかと思ってたがその顔色じゃ何にも知りませんでしたって感じだなちょっと待ってくださいそれじゃ風間のおやつさんはおやつさんはどうなるんですさあなだが組の一大臣に無所にいるようじゃ頭は務めねえだろおまけにだガキの頃から育ててきた可愛い子分が理由はどうあれ肩毛をぶち殺しちまったとあっちゃきっちりけじめつけねえとなおやさんは関係ないそれで俺も殺しはやっていませんそういうことはさつにつってもヤクザの言い分聞くほど連中も暇じゃねえだろうな。札には今日中に実施しろよそれと縁骨めどけやお前も極道なら組長に挨拶しとかねえと筋が通らねえぞ。It's like that loan shark set me up. I don't know what his game is, but he and I are going to have a talk. Hey! Hey, boy! Oh, it's you! Oh, you're the old guy from last night. Yeah! Finally! I've been searching for hours!、Mm -hmm. For me? Ugh, you read up booze. You're wasted. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> This whole town's one bit bar. It was made for drinking. Me and Kamoji Kun here have been at it all night. Yeah, well, glad somebody's having a good morning. You're got a face more sour than a lemon boy. What's wrong? I can't promise much, but I'm happy to lend you an ear. It's. I've just got a lot going on right now. Uh huh, well, alright. Anyway, I had a favor I wanted to ask you. Yeah? You mentioned you've been looking for me? Yeah. Actually, wait, sorry, but I don't have the time for any of this right now. I'll see you later. Thanks, I just need you to talk to a couple of guys. They'll be here real soon. They'll also be real angry. Ugh, you're not even listening. Why should I take care of your problems? That's a great question, Austin. They're real eager to talk to you too. Oh, hey, speak of the devil. Here they are now.、Oh. All right, Grams. Is this the kid? Yes. Yes, sir. My prize pupil.、Mm. I'm sorry, pupil?、Oh. The million yen loan I gave these two deadbeats is way past due. I need it back and I ain't waiting much longer. Why tell me about it? Wait, you don't expect me to pay, do you? That tip I gave you the other day's worth at least that, no? Besides, the depths of the master are the depths of, you know, you.、Uh? Like hell they are. And since when are you my master anyway? I don't really give a shit who you are. Just give me my money before the big gentleman behind me gets impatient. He's called Bruno. Bruno here. He's got a short fuse, especially for stubborn types. For your sake, I'd pay up before I got hurt. Hey, boy! What now? You think you can take Big Bruno Bear in a fight? Couldn't say for sure. Doesn't really matter either way because you're not going to drag me into your problems. Oh, so you think he'd beat you? Huh? I didn't say that. <sighs> Look. If you're trying to bait me, it's not going to work. It's your debt, you handle it. Yeah, that's a letdown. Can't have you getting spooked over a chump like him. Oh, wait, that's the aging fodder. Foreigner. Damn it, I need to read names. He's bargaining bin, bin muscle. Dime a dozen. Bottom of the bracket. 
wreck it. What are you even talking about? Huh? Hey, what's up with all the wrist whispering boys? Are you paying? Or, or does this have to get ugly? Oh, they were whispering? <laughs> Apparently it was a very loud whisper. I told you, this has nothing to do with me. Yes. Okay, alright. I'll pay you the money. Moist choice. I feel terrible, just terrible for all the hassle I caused. Tell you what, why don't we call it, make it two million million? Hmm? You wanna pay me double? Like I'm gonna buy that. You're drunk off your ass, old man. Oh, I've got the money. Be happy to give it to you, even on one condition. Yeah, and what's that? You have to tank back there and fight for it. He beats us all free. Uh, you have your tank back there and fight us for it. He beats all three of us to two million jaws. I'm sorry, I'm extremely drunk right now. We win and we don't owe you a thing. Huh? Shit, you're not drunk, you're crazy. Bruno's famous around here for busting heads. All three of you could rush him at the same time and he'd snap you like twigs. No. Nah, nah, fight's gonna be one on one. Rules and all. Three against one wouldn't be fair. <laughs> huh, you wanna take him on solo? Well, hell, if you don't mind me taking your money off your corpse, I'm game. You got yourself a deal. Well, that's just lovely. I'll tell you right now, I'm not bailing you out. If you don't want to get hurt, I'd start apologizing now. No. Okay, I'll go first then. Oi. Hey, are you even listening? Are you sure you want to do this? Ah, he'll be fine. Just a little workout. You just focus on keeping an eye on the action, boy. Watch Komoji's moves. Seriously? And fight! You know it's the 80s when you got Kiryu saying, that's rad. Go. Huh. Whew. I'm tired. I'll remember to eat before I do this stuff. Kimoji, was it? What were those moves just now? Actually, forget it. Are you okay? You shouldn't push yourself like that. Ha ha ha, he's fine. Told you, didn't I? Bit guy didn't land a single punch on him. No. Hey, you in the coat. Homeless dude. Bruno's belly got a scratch on him. You gonna try to finish the job with those weak-ass punches? Ah, no. Yeah. Kamoji-kun, you sit, you sit this one out. I'm calling around as your manager. Let the kid take it from here. You know what to do, don't you, boy? Heh. <laughs> yeah. So then. All right. I meant it when I said I wouldn't bail you out, but watching him just put me in the mood for a quick round. Right then. On to round two of the two million yen murder parade. Bruno, take him. And with that, we can switch to the rush style. You can switch to rush style by pressing left on the D-pad on the directional buttons. A little bit redundant, but whatever. One advantage of rush style is that you can evade with a series of quick steps by pressing the X repeatedly. You can combo up to three of them together. Use this to avoid enemy attacks and wipe out, um, wipe them out without taking any damage. Oh yeah! Let's give it a try. I'm liking this style. Use rush style moves to crush Bruno and show him who's boss. When using rush style, you can stun enemies by hitting them a certain number of times. Attack a stunned enemy will knock them down without fail, so swear attacks are effective against foes that are hard to knock to the ground. Got it. Hit them using square or triangle will eventually stun them. Oh, I like this style. Come on. Keep on pressing square, huh? I can do that. Come on! It will eventually stun them. For gear! So fast! I love it! Come on, come on, come on! 
I'm not even getting started yet. Woo, come on. Weak. What just happened? Bruni, Bruno barely got a punch in. Just who the hell are you? Name's Kiryu, Dojima family. Which family are you guys with? Whoa, wait, you're a proper Yakuza? Uh, s sorry, sir. I didn't know. We just worked for Toko Credit. Uh. Well, there's a coincidence. I have business with your boss. Need to meet with him as soon as possible. Oh god, I, I, shit, I pressed X too early. I think it said, can I meet with him right now? The president? I figured he'd be at the office at this hour. I see. There's a building on Tanhai, um, on Tanhai Boulevard East, right? I'll pay him a visit then. And that takes care of that little debt of ours, right? <laughs> yeah, fine. A deal's a deal. Bruno here will have to cover the difference. That's how a kind of debt collection works. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, phew. It's a tough world, I tell ya. Well, uh, I better get moving. Come on, Bruno. Pick it up. They suddenly move fast for being a big dude. Hey, tell me something. Oh? Just who are you? Why approach me? What are you after? Me? Yes, well, people here call me Bacchus. And I came to, to you because I had an angry thug on my butt. Yeah, nice of you to dump him on me. Look, if you're in some trouble, tell me. Maybe I can help. And that goes for him too. It was one of the moves of an amateur. What's his deal? A real street steal of a deal is what he is. He's got a gig sweeter than honey. Real fascinating to watch. You should have a look too, boy. A Komoji's job? But he's homeless, right? What kind of work does he do? He's, uh... Uh, what you call it? A uh, fisting artist. Whoa. That's not really my scene. Uh, th that ain't it. It's a punch-out artist. Yeah. Yeah, that. A punch-out artist. Heh. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Alright, so what's a punch-out art artist? The customer pays a fee and then get to throw as many punches at me as they like. I don't think I follow. Is there some SMM thing? Nah, nothing like that. Come on by and watch if you got questions. I work in Shishifuku parking lot. Yes. Kamoji Kun's here's got plenty to teach you about fighting, my boy. You'll kick yourself if you don't check it out. Alright, I get the picture. Shishifuku parking lot, right? I'll swing by if I find the time. It's Kiryu san from Dojima family, right? I'll be waiting. See you soon. Well, that takes care of my troubles for the today. I suppose I can't convince you to take on the world. The world? What does that even mean? Are you still trying to recruit me into pro fighting or whatever it was? Oh, no. no, I mean I want you to fight Dio. It's pretty cray cray. Uh, I mean, that's exactly what it was. You got potential most men can't even dream about. The world champion title could be yours. Sorry, I'm not some starry eyed kid who'd fall for that line. If you're looking to scout somebody, keep looking. I'll tell you one thing, boy. You keep living street fight to fight to street fight, you'll wind up with a knife between your ribs in some dark alley. That's no way to go out. You belong in the light, the spotlight, and I can get you there under the brightest ones. What do you say? You and me versus the world! Well yeah, uh, okay, we just met. You're not gonna change your life around because some old geezer asked you to. I get it. I'll give up. For now. But that doesn't mean I'm giving up for good. You got room to grow like a tree. I'll keep co coaching you along the way. You've got skills as a trainer, that much I believe. But I'm really not in a position to be worrying about anybody but myself right now. Sorry. But hey, maybe I'll see you around. Alright, my boy. Just steer clear of dark alleys till then, you hear? No knives in those ribs. Or bullets, for that matter. Are you trying to jinx me? See you later, Bacchus.
I don't know why, but his voice, I was trying to do like the Rocky trainer. I actually can't remember his name. God, it's been so long since I've saw, seen Rocky. Apparently, Toko Credit's president is in his office on Tanhai Boulevard East. I'll start there. Go to Toko Credit. Well, we could do that. Or we could head on over to Shishufuku parking lot and see if we can do some training. I actually want to see if that's available to us right now. Just out of curiosity, because I would like to get some moves, um, some new stuff if possible. And plus, it will give us a chance to look at the world around us. Man, Kamurocho looks so different in the 80s. Oh my god, we don't have the big building yet! A uh, uh, freaking Kamurocho Tower! Oh my god, that's so weird! <laughs> Where are we gonna have all of our explosions and street fights? And final bosses? Man, and this street's different. Oh god, it's all different! I mean, I guess so much can change in like 20 years, so I can't really act too surprised, but still. Let's see, the parking lot should be right over here. I could be completely wrong, and there could be like actually no one here, but I want to check. Like I said, new moves and all that. I like me some new moves. Okay, looks like he's not here, it's just some fucks. But you know what, this gives me a chance to try out my rush style again, so... I wouldn't say it was a complete waste of time. God, that feels so good. So for anyone who doesn't know the style system, it's basically, if anyone knows Devil May Cry, it's very similar to that. Where you can switch out styles on the fly. Mainly Devil May Cry 4, because you can switch those ones out on the fly with um, Dante. Okay. Get my combos down, because this is all new stuff. Apparently I got a heat move when they're down, good to know. And I get to Brawler style by pressing up on the D-pad. Got it. That's a good heat move, I like that one. Give me all of your money yen. Well, it's good to know that the trainer isn't here yet. I imagine it will show up on the minimap. So, I think this will be a good time to end the episode off. We got some story details and we got some new style. So, before we end off, let me actually check my abilities to see if I can afford anything. Um, power Surge 1 increases the attack power of your regular attacks and heat actions while using Rush style. Let's see. So, from what I can understand, Light Blue is new technique. Does it actually say? Um, no, it doesn't. Okay, so Light Blue is like new techniques. Red is... Mm, I'm not entirely sure, actually. I'm pretty sure Light Blue is new techniques because it's mentioning, like, moves. Yellow is stat. Dark blue is heat moves, and red is... I have no idea what red is. Um, I guess just offensive moves? I have... yeah, okay, let, let me take a look. So we can get Rising Trouble, square we're on the ground. We can increase our maximum health. You know what? Let me get that right away. I do like me some health. However, like I said... I'll see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Yakuza 0. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. See you guys then.